Brainstorming sessions are always a great way to knock loose new ideas or hear a perspective that you haven't heard before. Up until recently, if you wanted to brainstorm, you needed a physical space in order to meet at, accompanied by a place to write down and visualize all of your great ideas. In a digital meeting, you have the tools in order to see the other participants and hear the other participants. Sometimes you can even share your screen, but what about the tool for brainstorming? Well, look no further than the meeting application you're already using, Microsoft Teams. Inside of each Teams meeting, there is a place that simulates a real life whiteboard and it's called Whiteboard. And Whiteboard is just that. It's a blank slate where everyone can write down their ideas and see them in real time, just like you would with a real physical whiteboard. And when we say write on whiteboard, we really mean write on whiteboard. If you have a touchscreen device, then you can use your finger or stylus in order to write on the whiteboard. You can use it to write down your notes or doodle a complex idea. To create or activate a new whiteboard in your next Teams meeting, click on the shared screen button and instead of clicking on a display, click on whiteboard. Once it opens, everyone will be able to see and interact with this whiteboard. Another great thing about whiteboard is that it saves the changes in real time, meaning that you never have to click the save button and the document is always up to date. If you want to use this particular whiteboard in a future session, you will have to download the separate whiteboard app available in the Windows Store, and everything will be on that whiteboard just as you left off. However, we will go over the functionality of whiteboard in the next video. If you're new to Microsoft Teams and feel like you could use a little bit of help, we do have a free course online called Teams Essentials. It's available on our website at protectedtrust.com, but we'll also leave a link for you below in the description.